ready, Matt? Okay. Hello, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, uh, we're all really excited about this program, which uh, uh, is going to provide an invaluable website, a uh, comprehensive one to provide all information for programs and resources for uh, de dedicated entirely to pregnant women and families with young children. So to kick it off, I'm going to introduce Dr. Stacy Callum, and she'll start with an explanation of the program. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Stacy Callum, and I am the director of the Division of Maternal, Child, and Family Health at the Philadelphia Department of Public Health. We are so thrilled that you could join us this morning to celebrate the launch of Philly Loves Families, which is a new resource for Philadelphia families available at phillylovesfamilies.com. Philly Loves Families is a new central hub for information and city resources for families from pregnancy through early childhood. All information on Philly Loves Families is available in both English and Spanish. And now I'm gonna walk you through the website. You'll see that the content is organized by milestones such as pregnancy and infancy, and also by subject area, such as safe sleep, infant feeding, and the doula support program. I especially want to point out the resources page, which is where you can find a robust list of all programs and supports available for families from the Division of Maternal, Child, and Family Health, and also other City of Philadelphia resources useful for pregnant people and families with young children. One final part of Philly Loves Families I want to highlight is the provider page. This page has electronic referral forms, educational resources, and printable flyers, for, to use if you're a provider working with a family in Philadelphia. We're so grateful to the community members who gave feedback on Philly Loves Families at every stage of its development. Specifically, the community group of our Community Action Network reviewed and provided vital feedback on the site look and feel and content. You'll be hearing from one of our amazing community members and um, community engagement specialist, Pam Newman, a little bit later. Since the launch of Philly Loves Families a month ago, over 1,000 users have visited the website. The most popular page so far has been the breastfeeding page, and we're continuously monitoring the site analytics to learn what type of information and resources families are looking for so we can make sure we're meeting those needs. I hope you are all as excited as we are about Philly Loves Families. And again, the website is phillylovesfamilies.com, and you can also like us on Facebook at Philly Loves Families. And now I'm gonna turn it over to some partners and colleagues. We're going to go more in depth on some of the different resources on Philly Loves Families. Thank you so much. Uh, and, uh, next, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Galissa Jones, who is at the uh, Division of Maternal uh, Child and Family Health Breastfeeding Counselor Community. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jaleesa Jones, and I am the Breastfeeding Counselor, Community Outreach Health Equity Lead for the Department of Public Health, Maternal, Child, and Family Health. August is National Breastfeeding Month, and we want to take the opportunity to highlight the breastfeeding and infant feeding programs and resources on Philly Loves Family. Also, tomorrow is the start of Black Breastfeeding Week. We offer three programs to help families on their infant feeding journey, and you can learn more about each of them on the Philly Loves Families breastfeeding page. The first is free, individual breastfeeding assistance with certified lactation counselors such as me, available for prenatal education or postpartum feeding education and support. This program allows families to create an ongoing relationship with a lactation counselor to support them in their goals. The second program is the interdisciplinary breastfeeding management course for the U.S which is a free breastfeeding course for hospital staff, birth workers, doulas, social workers, peer supporters, home visitors, and anyone who works with mothers and babies. The third resource is the Pacify app. Pacify is a smartphone app that provides virtual lactation support and feeding support 24 seven, and it's available to all Philadelphia families for free with enrollment code Philly. Pacify has been one of our most popular resources, and in the past year, Philadelphia residents 
made over 1,700 calls on Pacify. Whether it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., families can get support. I personally have provided breastfeeding support to families through the Breastfeeding Counselor Program and Virtual Feeding and Parenting Support Groups, and every breastfeeding journey is unique. But sometimes it is nice to meet other mamas who you can connect with and have a support person who can listen to your concerns, support, and encourage you. Thank you. And next we have uh, Pam Newman, uh, our community uh, engagement consultant. Pam. Hello and happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, I'm Pam Newman. I am a mama, an artist, a radical imaginer, and the community engagement consultant uh, to the division of Ch um, <laughs> maternal child family health. Um, so I have a love story um, with the department and the division, um, a love of self and parenting, a love of my child who was only eight months old when I first got connected to the Community Action Network, the CAN, um, which you can get connected to through the website. Um, I have a love of the CAN's mission to reduce infant mortality in the city of Philadelphia. Um, and I love that I have the honor to help contribute to the process of creating the look and feel of this website, which um, feels very friendly, feels very accessible, um, and really shows the diversity of some of the families in Philadelphia. Um, and one of the, the features that I think is really cool is that there's ways for you to get involved, including the CAN. Um, and also, there are ways for you to get connected at, in regards to events that are happening, um, such as the Planet Earth event, which is happening on September 11th, which is a CAN event. Um, it's free and open to the public. Hi, James. That's my kid. <laughs> um, the Planet Earth event is free, open to the public. It will be on September 11th from 1 to 5 at Smith Memorial Pro playground and it's an opportunity to connect with other people in real life in person like we are today um, and learn more about the earth which is birth dropping the b for bias uh, for us to collect more information from black people about their experiences in medicine in birthing and after birth um, so I appreciate the time that you guys gave me to share about my experiences today and you guys have a great day Thank you. Okay, thanks, Pam. Uh, next, I'm happy to introduce Dr. Katie McPeak, who is a primary care pediatrician and medical director of health equity for the CHOP program. McPeak. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Katie McPeak, and I'm a pediatrician at CHOP at Carabots in West Philly. I'm so grateful to be here today, and I've been a huge supporter of Philly Families Can since its inception. Philly loves families, and so do I, and so does CHOP. And our goal in partnering with this wonderful initiative is to break down barriers and silos, which I know this department has been aiming for for quite some time. Our goal is really to offer families of newborns and, and young children the greatest chance of success Parenting doesn't come with an instruction manual, and so it's really, really helpful to have as much support in your village. On a more somber note, we also know that horrible inequities pervade child health, especially in our city of Philadelphia, in our black and brown communities. And while this is not a panacea to solving all problems, strong, supportive early childhood programs are one solution to drive health equity for our historically marginalized communities. At CHOP, my own practice alone sees over 1,200 newborns per year. But if you combine our other sites, we see thousands of newborns in Philadelphia County every year. These are my favorite patients. We have new families with a new baby and a lot of challenges, but a lot of opportunities. Here at CHOP, we screen for postpartum depression, food insecurity, safe sleep practices, we have also started standardizing the way that we assess for breast and chest feeding concerns among families. And it's important to note that we, we really shouldn't be screening for something if we can't meaningfully intervene. 
And this tool gives us a chance to really have everything at our fingertips. It helps me become a better primary care physician, and it helps my families really feel like they have a compassionate support person along their side that's not judging them. This is not punitive like so many other referrals that pediatricians may make. I've seen really incredible success when I refer families to Philly Families Can, and I love referring, especially young families with their first child, like, like James. Um, another thing that we sadly see are increased rates of perinatal depression and decreased rates of obtaining uh, mental health care and earlier breastfeeding support in our black and brown families. Differences to access and high quality care are really what make me proud to partner with Philly Families Can. Having Pacify, I have a dot phrase that I've saved in my electronic health record, dot PI Pacify, throw that in, and now my parents have similar access to families that have more resources. While we can't fix the broader issues of systemic racism and discrimination, I really hope that this type of program, one that's supportive and partnering, feels like a better fit for most of my families. It's one step in the right direction to reduce uh, health inequities and health disparities. Thank you for having me today, and um, I look forward to the partnership. Okay, uh, I'd like to close out by opening up to any questions anyone might have. Does anyone have any questions? No. Great job. <laughs>